My name is Ken Kephart. Welcome to the Southern Agricultural Research Center near Huntley, Montana. Today we're talking about a disease problem that is a serious threat to the quality of hard red winter wheat, which of course Montana is known as an outstanding producer of high quality wheats. The irrigation that you saw in the previous segment is not intended to provide moisture for supplemental irrigation to enhance crop growth and development but instead we are trying to create an environment that encourages the development of fusarium head blight or scab as it is sometimes called, a disease that in its own right causes some disease, some yield losses, but for the most part, its greatest impact is on reduced test weight and of course contamination by a mycotoxin uh, that's also known as vomitoxin, which is considered deleterious in the marketplace. Today, what we want to talk about is some of the research that's being done in collaboration with the winter wheat breeding program at Montana State University, where they are breeding and selecting under field conditions improved winter wheats that should have some form of resistance to the fusarium head blight. With that, I'd like to introduce our next speaker, Dr. Jason Cook, who is serving as the principal lead breeder in the development of this material. Hi, my name is uh, Jason Cook and I'm a research scientist at Montana State University Bozeman and I work with the wheat breeding team uh, developing new uh, varieties for Montana growers. Today I want to talk about one of our projects uh, that we've been doing since 2016. This project involves developing Fusarium head blight resistant varieties in winter wheat and uh, this project started after uh, Fusarium head blight was found in uh, winter wheat green growing regions in North Dakota and uh, eastern Montana. And so the objective is to develop uh, new varieties that have some resistance to Fusarium head blight so farmers have tools to uh, deal with any issues they have uh, if uh, Fusarium head blight appears in their region. So standing be be or behind me is the Fusarium head blight screening nursery. And so what's in this nursery is uh, varieties that have been developed over the last four or five years. Uh, the breeding effort included uh, uh, bringing in FHB resistant uh, genes from both spring wheat and winter wheat. And we've integrated that into the Montana winter wheat breeding program. And now we have uh, developed lines that are, uh, we can test out in the field to measure how resistant they are to the FH or the Fusarium head blight disease. And so the screening nursery behind me is a, a collaborative effort between uh, Kim Kephart at the Southern Egg Research Center, uh, Frankie Crutcher at the Eastern Egg Research Center, and this project is supported by the U.S. Uh, uh, wheat, wheat and Barley Scab Initiative and also the Montana Wheat and Barley Committee. And the so the, what, where we're at right now with this project is we are in the second year of screening these lines here at the Southern Egg Research Center uh, near Huntley, Montana. And uh, so we're going to have two years of data after this year. We've been getting good uh, FHB infection at this location and so we should have a pretty good idea if which lines have some resistance to the pathogen and then the goal is to uh, use those as parents to develop uh, new experimental lines and hopefully event, uh, one of these lines will be able to be released to the public as a new variety that has FHB resistance for Montana and uh, parts of North Dakota as well. Adequate disease development throughout the entire trial of the Fusarium head blight nursery. The entire site is inoculated with the causal organism Fusarium graminiarum that has been cultured on a corn-based media developed by Dr. Frankie Kutcher at the Eastern Ag Research Center in Sydney, Montana. The dark pellets that you see on the ground is the inoculum that has been broadcast throughout the nursery as the fungus grows and consumes the corn-based media. It sporulates heavily, infecting the wheat heads primarily during anthesis or as the anthers are extruded in the heads. Here we have a uh, FHB infected uh, winter wheat head. Here you can see how some of the spikelets here have kind of a whitish look to them. 
that's indicative of, uh, of uh, the FHV pathogen, which is a fungus uh, infecting these different um, little spikelets where the seeds are. And so what's happening here is the fungus goes inside the kernels and then it a feeds on the kernels and then also produces a toxin, uh, which Ken mentioned earlier. And this toxin uh, goes into the kernels and um, is toxic to those who consume the grain that has the toxin, especially if it's at too high of levels. So here's a good example of an FHB infected winter wheat head. So another, uh, uh, some useful information we're getting out of this FHB nursery is uh, it's turning out to be a pretty good screening nursery for tan spot as well. So tan spot is a disease, a fungal pathogen that is uh, considered a foliar, foliar disease. And what it does is it infects the uh, leaves of the plant and then you'll start getting these spotting patterns uh, where uh, you get like these uh, lesions on the leaves which uh, is essentially the portion of the leaf dying off trying to defend itself from the from the pathogen and so we have quite a bit of variation in here for tan spot uh, susceptibility and resistance so here's a line that's pretty susceptible to tan spot and then an here's another variety experimental line that's showing more resistance to tan spot and so in in uh, addition to fusarium head blight resistance uh, and screening for that, we're also going to get some good information uh, about tan spot uh, resistance as well in this nursery.